have broken my gate, which is not very good at all. A lot of zombies below me. Down here. I didn't want to loot that. Every shot has to count right now. Yo. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode on ultimate survival where we are continuing the 100 days challenge on seven days to die alpha 21 now in the last episode we did a lot of quests we farmed quite a bit and you know we're chilling you see how much we have set up just for the new horde base so in this episode we are going to have the third horde night on day 15 and we should be able to get a lot of xp our goal right now is so we have almost all of our uh, mining maxed out and then we are trying to go down the daring adventurer path so because if we get daring adventure unlocked we will be able to pick two quest rewards from the trader and we'll get 20% more dupes. So that is definitely what we'll need next. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working on. We have one skill point. We have to wait. And since we have the glasses on, we have one automatically. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Um, last episode, we also unlocked iron tools level two. And we unlocked a few other things like repair tools. Um, we've been getting a lot of workbench stations, which is really, really, really good. Um, this is 30, so we only need five more. We can make the anvil and the bellows, which we need to do. And we need to start doing more quests. So right now, our main objective is farm for the new horde base. And get daring adventure unlocked so right now uh the start of day 14 let's just depot what we need to depot and make sure everything up top is repaired so i'm gonna depot real quick and we'll take a look at the damage because i haven't fixed it yet okay so we are back from downstairs it looks like we have a lot of broken spikes. Now, we still need to make an under part here so they can't jump through. So, we're going to have to break a lot of these spikes. So, real quick, I'm just going to make a bunch of spikes. And we're going to have to break a lot of these, which is really going to suck. So, I mean... Yeah, this is really going to suck, but that's what we're going to have to do. So, let's get a move on.
but they're all just tunneling. What the? Like, what is this? What is this garbage? They all just said, yeah, nah, we're gonna go underneath you. This is garbage. This stupid zombie. Can you shut up? Oh, yeah, I'm about to die to two zombies. Did I miss? Did I miss A? Yeah, we'll just put those there just in case. So guys, it is nighttime. Um, the end of day 15. I know we did an insane amount of uh, upgrading, which I feel like was pretty necessary. Um, but yeah, I feel like the base is looking good. I don't feel like it's looking too bad. I feel like we might be set for Horde Night. We just might. As long as they don't break through the dirt. That is. If they do that, then we're going to have some problems. But let's see. Can they? How about we just make it to where they can't even get down here? How about that? I just don't even want there to be a hole down here. They might still detect it. I don't know. We'll see. At least we got some traps down there now. That's just really annoying. Like, I was right here, and they just didn't even want to go for the traps. They're just like, yeah, we're going to go all the way underneath. Like, okay. This jump is risky. Okay, we're good. So, yeah, guys. Day 14. I feel like we did a good job preparing ourselves for the next Horde night, which is tomorrow. Um, I feel like we're definitely pretty prepared. So I think in the morning, the next day, I think we're just going, this meat sucks by the way. I think we're just going to farm because, uh, do, do a few missions as well. Farm and do a few missions, but I think we're pretty prepared for Horde Night, so we don't really have to prepare anymore. That was pretty much just us preparing right there, so that's pretty hype. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Anything, I don't know if people know about this, but if you hit a dew collector with a claw hammer, I don't know if it works with anything else, but if you hit a dew collector with a claw hammer, left click, twice, Maybe even once. You see how we have 83? I can repair this for less than it took to get this. So say I put these polymers back, right? I have zero. So if I hit this twice, I'm gaining 19. And it's only using 10 to repair. So if I keep doing this, I'm just gaining nine polymers each time now i also in my skills 
I have my minor 69er and mother load maxed, so I'm getting max profits. But this is insane. Like, you can literally just get max. Like, you can get as many polymers as you need. Yo, what is going on, guys? Day 15. The next Fortnite. It is now morning time. We just got finished with a lot of building. That's kind of all we did last day. So, that was alright. That was fun. So, now, I think what we're going to do, since... I feel like the base is pretty defendable um as long as they don't go underneath me which we're gonna hope doesn't happen or we're probably gonna die now let's see we got a thousand i thought that we finished these spikes off let me see because we didn't so let's make like seven eight so we just gotta finish these spikes off and then we're gonna turn we're gonna go farming for a little bit since the trader is not open yet and then after that we're gonna go farming i don't know i just need to farm a lot and do some more missions so we're getting a lot of xp and we're always gonna need wood and we're always gonna need iron so you know it is never a bad idea to farm more. Okay, all the spikes should be good. So let's hop on our bike. Yeah, I'll leave this stuff in here for now. Come over here, kill this dog. And then we'll farm until the trader is open. Oh, it's a deer. I'm dumb. Our first... Iron deposit that we see out in the wilderness. Okay, let's get to uh, mining. Okay, so it is seven in the morning in the game. So we are now going to go back to the trader. Um, so we're chilling on iron. I feel like it's really easy to get iron. Like we have a lot of iron back at base. Like we just mined one ore of iron and we got a stack. And that was only within like two minutes. So that's pretty good. Um, the wood though, it takes a lot longer and we're going to need a foundation for our horde base. So we're going to need to farm a lot of wood. So I think what we're going to do is turn this in, go farming for some wood. We're on that farm grind. I keep saying farm. And it sounds like I'm just like planting seeds Everything. and stuff, and eating food. I don't care what folks say about I'm you. And the wasteland. You're almost okay. Forge steel. Book. I feel like forge steel. Us stacking up on this is gonna be really good. Like we can already make iron pickaxes, so I don't really care. Like forge steel compared to a level two iron pick, it's just I feel like it's not even comparable. Oh, nice. What the heck? Tier 2 complete already? Workbench. We already have a workbench. Um, 100 cobblestone shapes. It's 
probably just ah what is it what is it what is it here it's either food bundle or forged iron this is pretty tempting too but eh bundle of home cooking weekly magazines we can make a lot of forged iron i think we just go with the food bundle got any special jobs Opening trade routes, tier three. Take a number and a good deal. I hope you have a game plan. Okay. Let's open this up, see what we get. Ten? Holy. We got ten hobo stews? Tier two pumpkin pie. Nice. Holy crap. Um, food, 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 food. We can make blueberry pie, pumpkin pie. Well, we're getting up there. Oh, he's just getting up there. I can't believe that gave us 10, though. That is insane. Okay, um, we're going to be chilling on food for a while. So let's go. Hmm. I kind of want a depot, yeah. Especially since we got stuff on our bike as well. So we're going to take all the stuff out of our bike, put it in into our inventory. And then we're just going to go in depot, go towards the trade route or whatever. Open the, you know, the mission. And on our way, we'll just collect wood and iron and whatever else we find okay so i was looking at which way this is like if we made a base right here this would literally be perfect we would be in between all three and i'm gonna bet that this is at a um i don't think it's trader gen i don't know who it is i think it's a trader hue but we already have a trader hue but yeah, if we can make a base in between all three, that would be insane. Let's just hope that it's a different biome. Because if it's all three green, or, you know, grassland, it wouldn't be too bad. But we already have two. So it would suck a little bit. But it's looking like it is going to be in the snow biome, which I am happy with. Give me a different biome to work with if I ever need something different sir who is this joel trader hugh we already got a trader hugh what it's the same exact place okay well let's loot around his place real quick and then talk to him the second trader hugh are you still hanging around any jobs? No. Wait. So Trader Hugh is the same Trader Hugh as the other one. Because he's got tier threes for me as well. Interesting. That is very interesting. I think I like that. Big ammo. Okay, well, we're not going to start anything from him, so let's just make our way back. And on our way, farm some more wood. <laughs> getting me some lead. We finally found some. It was cool getting all that, but yeah, we need to... We need to book it. Not far away, so we're chilling, but gotta go. Okay, we are back at the base. I'm going to deposit all my stuff. Um, ah, we forgot to check and see what the other trader you had. He probably has the same stuff, but let's come in here and see 
what our trader Bob ha or Hugh has over here. Kind of annoyed that it's another trader Hugh, but we've got almost 6k coins, so let's see a what he's got. Ain't worth a dime anymore. I see your inventory. Hmm. Bunch of trash. Advanced bellows, that's pretty good. Forge smelting speed. Uh, forge crafting speed. I mean, they're pretty cheap. Forge ahead books. We got three of them. Hmm. You can buy a forge for 3,000. Don't really care about that. Can buy gas from them. Oil, duct tape, dart trap. I'm gonna buy this because we're gonna be stocking up. Oh yeah. Cement, duct tape, I'm trying to think of what else I would need right now or want. I do some more forge heads. And just save the rest. I mean, we have enough. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Cement mixer. Let's go, dude. How hard is it to make a cement mixer? Cement mixer. We can craft one right now. Nice. So let's go back to the base. Depot. Craft that. Uh, I think we should be able to place that before Horde Night starts. But yeah, we're pretty much just waiting for Horde Knight to start besides crafting that, so let's get it. I need 25 Forge Iron. Are you kidding me? Craft. Three minutes. That's not that bad. I should get it. I'm ready. Let's see if everything works. There we go. She's now closed. Oh, let's see. Let's see how this night goes. Food is maxed out. Screw it. Let's just drink the water. Let's max the water out as well. If I see him go towards that trailer, I'm just going to start crying. Like a top, buddy. Oh, there are a lot of boxes. I do like that. I'm getting that many kills, but you know, the traps are. Yeah, they're just breaking that. The okay, defenses are working pretty well. Oh. He just jumped onto another zombie. That's great. That is just wonderful. Keep your loading, keep your loading. 
Not more zombies to kill. Holy. Definitely need some more. Uh... This is definitely not enough spike traps. If these were iron, it'd be different, but. my gate which is not very good at all there are a lot of zombies below me they are just boosting each other reload 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 I feel like I'm getting less XP I don't know I feel like they're breaking in though. I see he's going towards the front, so I'm guessing that they're breaking. Here we go. Okay, here we go now. 15 bullets in the AR. Pop it like it's hot. More rifle ammo. Be careful. Design is not working the best. Waiting for more time to come from up here. Yep. Load this garbage pistol. I might die. Why is that door open? You just do a 360 after I shoot you twice and you're still up. My question is how many zombies we got down here? I didn't want to loot that. Every shot has to count right now. Okay. This is pretty hectic. Not the best base design, let's be honest. I missed. Oh yes, please come from this way. Oh my god, yes. And pistol's broken. Jump because my leg sprained, or maybe I'm just reloading. I guess. Nice. Those 
zombies are dying from the spikes, but... Double kill. So many bags over there. Dude, they know the exact weak point too. That's so annoying. We're doing good. We're surviving. Not the best places around though. Finally, it's just this point now, and I can't jump when I'm reloading. That's so annoying. Oh, they're all gonna be up here now. I'm gonna have to wait for them to come up and go. Beep. Close the door. Kill two with it. Two of them with that. That's nice. Two more killed with that. Nice. Okay, just went real silent real quick. We could probably start looting some of this while we wait. That was... Ultra hectic, holy. Okay. Come on, block damage. I've already got that learned, so it's just gonna give us XP. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer just to make sure. Stone sledgehammer quality three. See? Now I've never made just a straightforward type base, but I'm going to, and we're gonna see how it goes because yeah, bases like this don't really last that long. Well, my one base did last this long. Like it lasted way longer. Like it lasted up until like day 75 and it was kind of formatted like this. Um, But it was like all upgraded, dart traps, all the, you know, like, a bunch more traps and it was decent and it was actually killing them like I had a whole row of like blade traps on the outside but I feel like it's just always better to go like one entrance with like dart traps just watching it because I I don't think that you can do it like I don't think that there's an easier way but I've never done it so See how we do when we when we um test it out when we make our horde base. Okay, so I think we've gotten all the yellow bags. I don't think we've missed any. But yeah, this was a good good horde night. Uh, we didn't die, surprisingly. Let's look at our skill points. So, like I said, I really, really, really want to get a Daring Adventurer up. We really need this to go up. So, this needs to be Intellect Level 10 anyways. Um, advanced Engineering is going to be good. Yeah, we've only got 15% XP from Electrical Trap Kills. Uh, faster workbenches, cementers. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this will be good to get after. Um, I'm not really too, too, too worried on all this other stuff. But I feel like going Daring Adventurer and then Advanced Engineering is kind of what we're going to do. So, yeah. I'm going to level this up before I level that up. Because we're going to keep these glasses on because I don't think that they degrade. Yeah, they don't. So, we're not going to get it to full level 10. So, we'll be able to save three skill points. So, this is going to take seven more. Seven. Eight, nine. Yeah, so it's not going to take as much, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed Day 16 Horde Nights. Uh, we didn't die, so, you know, that's huge. Now, it wouldn't have been as close to us of dying if we would have just repaired our machine pipe pistol and just gotten our 7.6. But, you know, I didn't want to waste all of our 7.6. So, we did get more wood is good um let's see how much we have real quick because we're gonna need i don't know how the base is going to look like the horde base like i don't know for certain how i want it to look but i know we have a lot of iron but we only have two stacks of wood I don't think wood's going to be that important. Like, off rip. Like, I'm pretty sure frames don't cost, like, anything. Like, we have a thousand wood right now, right? So, if we just went to maximum 536, yeah. So, I mean, we're kind of chilling. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.